Okay, so I finally got my Apple Watch today, and I got it on the first day of shipping because I waited two minutes after it actually released online to buy it. Now that means if you live where I am, which is Baltimore, Maryland, that it released at 3 o'clock in the morning. Whereas in California, you had to wait only till 12, lucky bastards. So, just start the goddamn video. First, I want to talk about my own personal opinion on the Apple Watch even before going into the details of it. Now, when they first talked about the Apple Watch and everything that comes with it and how it's an extension of your phone and how it's seamlessly on your wrist as opposed to going in your pocket, for someone who works in customer service or at a job or at even at a school that does not allow you to use your phone, this is perfect. You can have your cake and eat it too and, and be perfectly happy. So when people say that the Apple Watch is pointless, no boo. It's pointless for your ass. So since you don't want it, stop talking about it and trying to get everyone else discouraged about it. The fuck on, buy yourself a normal watch. Now people on Twitter are asking me, did you get the gold one? I don't know what kind of pockets y'all think I have, but I don't have $10,000 to spend on a watch. Now, the one that I did get is the stainless steel Melanie Salute with the stainless steel band as well, meaning that mine did cost $740. Now, you can get an Apple Watch as low as $350. That's about the same price as an iPad mini. Now, if anyone watched the videos that Apple put up on their YouTube or even on the Apple website, you will see everything that you can do on your Apple Watch. It's just like the things we've seen in movies about the future. You can text from it, you can answer calls on it, you can actually check Instagram on it, which I didn't know was a thing. I knew about Twitter, but Instagram, I, I couldn't even imagine that shit. But yeah, it works, so I'll be on there more. So, you know. Follow me. Since Apple Watch is a watch, I had to choose the face. Now, every one of my friends know that I had like a Mickey Mouse fixation only because it was a thing my grandfather loved before he died. Like when he first passed away, I kept his pocket watch and things like that. Mind you, I'm like only like eight years old. Unfortunately, the Apple Watch does not work unless you have an iPhone. And rumor has it that if the iPhone is dead, then your watch serves no purpose. I don't believe that's true, but I will find that out for you all. For those who want to use an Apple Watch, like how I mentioned earlier about, you know, using it in places you can't normally have your phone, like at work or school, the watch is already low key. If you get a notification, it won't pop up on your wrist unless you put it up to your face. It won't turn on unless you pop it up to your face. I turned the sound off on this thing and it has something called haptic feedback. Anytime one of y'all tweet me or I get a text message, it like taps me on the wrist like, hey buddy, you got a notification. You might want to answer that pimp, but you know, in a subtle way. I don't talk about it much because I don't like to brag about the things that I have, but I literally have Apple everything. And the fact that this works seamlessly with everything else, just like everything else, it's just love. Love. The Apple Watch has its own app store, just like a MacBook would, an iPad, or iPhone. Apps that you wouldn't expect to be there are there. There's an Amazon app, there's a Chipotle app. There's an Uber map, there's a Starbucks app. ESPN, Hotels.com, that is quite the collection for it to have come out today. To make this very clear, the Apple Watch Sport, the Apple Watch, and the Apple Watch Edition, although they are made out of three different materials, aluminum, stainless steel, and gold, they all do the exact same thing. It's really based upon preference and status. I'm pretty sure we're going to have celebrities bragging about how they have the all-gold Apple Watch. But, but you know, Silva's cool. Silva, Silva is definitely cool. I like my Silva. Review videos are not my thing, but I want everyone to know, if you want to try it, try it. Don't say you don't like the Apple Watch if you don't really know what it does. People say that it's pointless, but I guarantee you, if someone gave it to them for free, they would use it and they would love it. I've only had one hour to play with this before making this video. But another thing I like is that Siri, you can just say, hey Siri, and she's ready to do what I say. Okay, relax. And this reminded me of something else. If you answer a call from your watch and you want to mute them, all you have to do is cover it up and the watch will actually mute them from the conversation. It's a bunch of cool little things, but if you guys have any more questions, just tweet me about it, once again, at my username, and I'll answer any and all questions. Trust me, I'm gonna be playing with this thing all day. Last thing I'm gonna say about school and work, if you're gonna use it, it's already low key, just be low key with it. Don't be all out and everyone like, oh, uh, 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 that's what they do. The last thing we need is watches to be on the list of things you can't have. Anyway, I'm just really glad, because this is gonna save my phone battery life, like, a plenty bit. Anyway, my randoms, I will see you next Thursday, all right? Big Sean is not happy. <laughs> oh yeah, Justin Bieber, he did it now. So I'm looking at what's trending, and then I see this, and that, and then fucking that. <laughs> <laughs>